Hi everyone, Reliable Dave here and we're just doing a follow-up video on the Migro. So what we have here in the unit is uh, a Migro 100, which is 107 watts, versus a 300 watt CFL, which is running at 180. So this is maybe 10, 15 feet back and it's a non-scientific test. Uh, you know, there's, there's things that aren't right. We should have um, reflectors for the CFL, we don't. But visually, you can see the difference between the two lights. The Migro disperses downwards. Uh, the brightest part of the, the, the grow area there is the bottom where the plant is. Whereas the CFL, the brightest area is at the top where the CFL is. So let's go in and take a closer look at both. So the, uh, the, the basil under the Migro is, there's certainly a lot more growth. This is about, um, about five weeks growth. Um, big difference, uh, you know, the basil's due for repotting as well on the left, the one on the right is growing fine, just a lot slower. Um, there is an issue with heat perhaps from the uh, Migro. So, uh, in fact, I've not even had this, this Migro unit has turned down. So, uh, just wait for the camera to adjust. So you can see the Migro is actually running at 76 watts at the moment. I turned it down because um, it seemed to be a little bit too intense for the plant. So if I turn this back up to full power, so it's 76 at the moment. If I turn it back up to 107, and you can actually see now how much brighter that is. So there's a massive difference. And obviously the light is needed down on the plant. So there's the actual the micro unit. Um, you know we've we've got a makeshift hanger there. Apparently these units are water sealed, so you can actually put them under water. I don't want to test that myself. You can see the dispersal unit on the front. So the the sunlight, you know, it's hitting the the sides just below. So on a reflective surface, that would be coming in to the leaves from all different directions. The, uh, the driver is uh, a nice tidy unit, it has uh, an adjustable setting here, just let me see a label for you all, no, it's not really focusing, okay, you can see it's a steady 107, by the flick of the adjuster, and you can go all the way down to at 12 watts and you can see it's dim turn it up turn it up turn it up and run to 107 this unit yeah it runs a little bit warm so it's not massively hot so there's a little bit of loss in there so maybe maybe five or six watts is lost in heat nothing much so the CFL in comparison, that's a 300 watt CFL, and just the design of the CFL there, the light from the top of that light has to make its way through the glass at the bottom in order to make it to the plant. Not the best design. Um, that said, they've always done as well. You know, I've used these lamps a lot for propagation, um, and they've always been fine. Not really powerful enough for a full grow, but good enough for propagation. But the proof is in. The pudding, as I say, and you can visually see a massive difference in the amount of light hitting those plants. And although it's not scientific, simply adding a reflector to the other side of that, and bear in mind it's got white all around it, adding a reflector isn't going to have that big a change between those two plants. It might improve things on the, on the CFL side by 10, 15 percent, but there's a massive difference there. That plant isn't 10 or 15 percent bigger it's an order of well there's eight leaves on one it's about 42 on the other okay this is uh, Dave signing out keep an eye on our videos